Rice fields prevalent throughout Southeast Asia may make a beautiful landscape, but they're also the perfect breeding grounds for mosquitoes that carry Japanese encephalitis virus, a deadly bug that can have devastating effects. At the University of Liverpool, we've been working on improving the diagnosis, treatment and prevention of Japanese encephalitis across Asia for more than 10 years. My work has been funded by an MRC Senior Clinical Research Fellowship, as well as other funding agencies. In most people, being bitten by an infected mosquito causes nothing more than a mild flu-like illness, but for others, it can lead to serious brain damage or even death. In 2005, an outbreak across India killed 1,700 people, mostly children, and disabled thousands more. With my team in the Institute of Infection and Global Health, I've been looking at how much brain damage is caused by the virus itself and how much is due to the body's attempt to fight the virus off. We've also been developing new diagnostic tests and contributed to the World Health Organization's surveillance guidelines to help assess the disease burden across Asia. The research we've done suggests particular inflammatory proteins produced by the body's immune response to the virus may help open up the blood-brain barrier. In our Liverpool lab, one of our trainees, Ajani Patabendige, has been working on this. I have been developing a novel model of the human blood-brain barrier. The blood-brain barrier prevents the entry of viruses, bacteria and toxins into the brain. Using this model, I have shown how the virus gets into the brain and causes damage. Members of our team are based out in southern India and Nepal, trying to find new treatments to stop the brain swelling caused by Japanese encephalitis. We have developed a new tool, the Liverpool Outcome Score, which allows a better understanding of disability after encephalitis. Immunisation is key to preventing outbreaks of Japanese encephalitis, and as part of an international coalition, we have supported new vaccine programmes across Asia. To date, more than 100 million children have been immunised in India, with new annual campaigns set to protect many millions more. With the support of MRC and other funding, our Brain Infections Group has expanded. Ajani is one of 20 members from all over the world working on brain infections in Asia, Africa and the UK. It's great to be part of a team of doctors, nurses, basic scientists and social scientists all working together to make this terrible disease, encephalitis, a thing of the past.